Hello everyone. For the 125th anniversary celebration of Dominican Academy, we've been honoring a Dominican saint and one of our four pillars. Today, we will be discussing the Dominican saint, Saint Martin de Porres, who embodies the Dominican pillar of service. Saint Martin de Porres was born on December 9, 1579 in Lima, Peru. He is the son of Don Juan de Porres, a Spanish man, and Ana Velasquez, a freed Panamanian slave. His father abandoned the family shortly after his sister was born, but decided to return when he was eight. Throughout his childhood, not only did he struggle with poverty, but also with the stigma against being biracial. At the age of 12, he was an apprentice for a barber surgeon where he learned the trade of cutting hair and basic medical skills. When he attempted to join a religious community, he was rejected due to his racial background. Back then in Peru, it was illegal for descendants of Africans and Indians to become members of religious order. However, he was able to enter the Dominicans of Holy Rosary as a volunteer, the lowest position. He was assigned to do light work like cooking and cleaning. However, he treated all his tasks with care regardless of their importance. Due to his background in healthcare, he was also assigned to help at the infirmity. It was there that he gained recognition for his healing powers. There were stories spread of him curing illness with touch of his hand. At the age of 15, he entered the covenant as a servant boy and then was promoted to church officer. Eventually, at the age of 24, he was able to take his vows as a member of the Third Order of St. Dominic under the prior Juan de Lorizana. Juan de Lorizana received a lot of backlash for this decision due to Martin's racial background, however, chose to ignore it. He worked in the infirmary up until November 3, 1639, when he passed away after suffering a year with illness. He was then beatified by Pope Gregory XVI in 1837, and named the patron saint of social justice in Peru by Pope Pius XII on January 10, 1945, making him the first canonized black male. Saint Martin de Porres was known for his dedication to others. When there was an epidemic in Lima and his fellow brothers got sick, he risked his life to care for them. One day, he found an injured person that was bleeding from a stab wound. He took the person back to his room in the convent, which was against the rules. When reprimanded, he responded, Forgive my error and please instruct me, for I did not know that the precept of obedience took precedence over that of charity. During his time, he also founded an orphanage in Lima called the Orphanage of the Holy Cross, which is known today as Colegio de Santa Cruz. Well, how does this apply to our lives? Well, I'm glad you asked. As we said before, service is one of the Dominican pillars that we follow as Dominican Academy students. While St. Martin de Porres lived more than three centuries before us, something that stays true even in the 21st century is his commitment to serve everyone regardless of their financial and racial background. At DA, there are clubs like the Social Action Service Club, Campus Ministry, DAPS, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, where students can carry out service within the school. In their free time, DA students also serve at outside organizations, such as the Xavier Mission, St. Mary's Food Pantry, and the Common Point Queen's Food Pantry. Student-run clubs will also organize dress-down days dedicated to raising money for a specific cause. Just this October, the student body raised $1,358.54 for the Susan G. Komen Foundation, helping raise money for breast cancer awareness. During their senior year, students at Dominican Academy take Catholic social teaching. The seven themes of Catholic social teaching are life and dignity of the human person, call the family, community and participation, rights and responsibilities, option for the poor and vulnerable, the dignity of work and the rights of workers, solidarity and care for God's creation. One of the requirements of this course is completing 30 hours of service at their choice of service site. 
The purpose of this is so students can serve and form connections with those in their community and carry out the themes of Catholic social teaching in their own lives. While we might not always be Dominican Academy students, the pillar of service will follow us wherever we go.